Hello viewers, welcome again and as I promised you in the earlier video, in this video I am going to explain you the trick to find the transfer function of the given signal flow graph at a stretch using uh, a single step. You, have, you, you will be after listening to this video, you will be able to write the transfer function of the signal flow graph in a single step. So before uh, writing that, you should observe few things uh, on your in your mind uh, before itself writing the transfer function. So in this question, uh, the number of forward paths present are, uh, you try simultaneously along with me so that we, we all together can complete this problem in single step. So you can see that from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, this is one forward path and you can see that from 1, 2, 3 you can go directly like this, so this is my second forward path. So in this question, there is two forward paths. Now write along with me the gains of the forward path 1. That is G1, G2, G3 and G5 is the gain of first forward path. Now you leave some place for writing delta 1. Now write about the forward path gain of second path. That is 1 into G1 into G4 into G5. That is G1 into g4 into g5 now you leave some place for writing delta 2 so now that's it for the numerator part and now for writing delta you should observe the number of forward paths sorry the number of loops individual loops and two non-touching loops and three non-touching loops etc so it all start with one minus of now you can see that number of individual loops are present in this so now you can uh, see that this is one forward uh, this is one loop and you can see that uh, this is one loop i am writing uh, marking with green this is one more loop present so these are the two loops present and you can uh, if you think only that those two are the loops then you are wrong you can see that uh, this is one more loop uh, let me use another uh, color for this so i am using black for this so now you can you can observe that this uh, from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and again here this is one more loop so this is from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and you are coming uh, back so this is one more loop so there's a, the, uh, there are three loops present in this question so now you can write them as this is first let me write for uh, this 4 5 4 that is g3 into minus h3 so minus g3 into h3 and again a uh, one more loop that is g1 g2 g3 1 g5 and minus h1 so it is minus g1 g2 g3 g5 and h1 this is my second loop gain and finally it is for this that is from upper forward path that is minus g1 g4 g5 and h1 so these are my individual loop gains now you can see number of uh, two non-touching loops that is i think the diagram became a bit clumsier but i can uh, draw here for you this is my four five again for one loop and you can see that from two two three again you are going like this and you are coming back to two so these two loops are not touching because one is there in between that so these two loops are not touching now you can uh, write the gain product of this means each and every gain present in this should be written here so that is a minus sorry it is plus so now you can write here as g1 and upper forward path again g4 g5 h1 here you have one minus and in that inner loop also you have one minus so minus and minus gets plus so no need to write again sign here h1 and g3 h3 and as there are only three loops present and uh, remaining two are touching so there is no concept of uh, three non-touching loops in this question so that's all for uh, your delta here so we completed with the denominator part now you have to come here for delta 1 so to write delta 1 you should check the first forward path the number of loops that are not touching to the first forward path 
but all the loops are starting with the point 2 so mm, and point 4 and these two nodes are present in the first forward path so simply your delta 1 will be 1 now you should be careful while writing delta 2 because the forward path is from 1 uh, from 1 2 3 and it directly went to 6 7 and 8 now there is a loop which is not touching to that so this loop will be present so the delta will be 1 minus of it is minus g3 h3 and there are no other loops which are not touching the forward path so this is your delta delta 2 so finally writing the transfer function here you can uh, you can write that as so now you can write the transfer function as finally transfer function equal to g1 g2 g3 g5 plus multiply with one that is g1 g4 g5 minus into minus is plus again that is g1 g4 g5 g3 h3 g3 h3 this is our numerator part and the denominator is 1 minus into minus is plus 1 plus g3 h3 plus g1 g2 g3 g5 h1 plus g1 g4 g5 h1 plus g1 g4 g5 h1 g3 h3 so this is the transfer function for the given so given signal flow graph so in this way you can find the transfer function in a single step uh, you might think that it took uh, about five to six minutes for us to figure out but if you practice two to three problems using this method directly you can find the transfer function of the system by looking at the signal flow graph so uh, if you think uh, you want me to explain more examples on the signal flow graph and writing the transfer function you can comment in the comment section so that i will make more videos on this concept so that's all for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot and share to your friends if they if you want them to improve uh, for finding the transfer function using signal flow graph and that's all for this video and see in the next one